Hey everybody, I'm going to show you uh, a one-way MANOVA and I'm going to show applications in JASP and maybe some limitations and some applications in SPSS as well as some limitations and expansions. So um, I'm going to share my screen with you all here and uh, we'll uh, walk through this. Uh, let's start with uh, JASP and I'm going to use a Lesson 28 uh, Data File 1 from Green and Salkind and this looks at uh, three types of groups uh, of, of study strategies, thinking, writing, and talking. And then there's a recall uh, score and a score for application of the skill uh, based on the study strategy. And so what we want to do is we want to see if the study strat if there are significant differences in study strategy based on recall and application. Um, and so, you know, a really nice thing about, uh, about JASP is that I can run a, a MANOVA and uh, I can put uh, in my dependent variables here. And uh, uh, put in my group. And uh, from here, um, you know, I, I've run my, I've already run my MANOVA and it gives me my provides trace and my p value and I can ask for additional options. Uh, so we can look at Wilkes Lambda. Uh, which is kind of more traditional to report. And just you, you, one thing to notice here uh, with, with uh, Wilkes Lambda is that uh, your Wilkes Lambda here is 0.42, um, your provide trace is 0.602. Uh, one is the inverse of the other, okay? And so, um, yeah, essentially, and so, uh, um, you know, uh, this would be like one minus eta squared, whereas this would be the amount of variance accounted for. But a really nice uh, element of, uh, of JASP is that it does your homogeneity of covariance test, which we've met that assumption, and it runs a test for multivariate normality, and we've met that assumption. And so that's a really nice aspect of JASP. Unfortunately, when it comes time to run uh, post hoc analyses, um, JASP is really limited. You can look at an ANOVA tables, but with the MANOVA, we don't want to look at ANOVA tables. We want to keep our system, our dependent variables together and look at uh, our dependent variables as, 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 a, as a unified multivariate construct, not as separate ANOVAs. If I was interested in separate ANOVAs, I wouldn't run a MANOVA. I would just run separate ANOVAs. And this is why we need to be looking at SPSS. So with SPSS, um, I can do some of the same things. I'm going to analyze general linear model multivariate, but it does not have a test for multivariate normality. Uh, I would just have to be able to look at univariate normality. And so that's a nice aspect of JASP is that I can test for multivariate normality, one of the model assumptions um, for, uh, uh, for MANOVA. But now um, when I look at uh, uh, application and recall and study skill strategy here. Um, you know, I, uh, uh, I run this and I get the same results, by the way. Uh, I have to wait for them. Jasp, it's a little more automatic, but uh, that's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll wait a second here. Still waiting and, and waiting. Ah, here they are. Whoops. And you can still see I have my homogeneity of covariance assumption met. And uh, I run my multivariate test. And here's my Pi trace uh, right here and my Wilkes lambda. Same, same values, right? You know, basically the same values. Um, and uh, then it runs univariate ANOVAs again, which I'm not interested in. What I'm interested in is to see that I have a statistically significant effect. All right. Generally, we look at Wilkes lambda. Um, though I do like the effect size measure and uh, apply trace, but uh, we look at Wilkes Land and we see that we have a statistically significant effect. And um, you know, if you want to know the uh, uh, effect size, um, you can take one minus uh, 0 0.421, and uh, that generally gives you okay. You can uh, you're accounting for about 58 percent of the variance in the model. Um, Let's move on. Let's look at uh, um, 
let's let, let's let's look at uh, the post hoc analysis. If I have statistical significance, what does this look like between my groups? So I go to analyze and I go to classify and I'm going to run a discriminant analysis. It reverses my MANOVA. It puts my study strategies as a grouping variable, which are between one and three. I have three study strategies labeled one, two, and three. And then I put in my predictors or my independents. And when I go to statistics, um, I don't need to run this stuff because I've already run it uh, in my MANOVA. Um, I go to classify and I like to uh, ask for uh, combined groups. Uh, I like a summary table. Um, and uh, I hit continue and uh, I click OK. And so it will tell me how many discriminant functions I have that are significant. Um, I only have a possibility of two discriminant functions and only one of them is significant. So whenever I see the second discriminant function in these columns, I'm going to ignore them. Both recall and application load on my function, um, but only recall is having a major impact when I look at the standardized beta weight here. Uh, it, it changes by almost a full standard deviation unit where application doesn't change at all. Application seems to be a function of recall that if I can recall the information, I'll be more likely to apply it. That kind of makes sense. So whereas they both load, recall seems to encompass both uh, recalling information, you know, remembering information, and applying it. Um, and it's nice, SPS gives you a little bit of a graph. You'll notice that function two, these are basically on the same horizontal line because function two wasn't significant, but function one, one was. And people who are, are better writers were able to recall more, followed by people who were talking and then thinking. And so um, writing seemed to be a better uh, strategy for remembering and being able to apply knowledge. Um, and so we can see that uh, uh, right here, writing had the, 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 the largest group centroid, kind of a multivariate mean, um, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and so it's definitely a much, a much more superior strategy. And so that's how we run um, a, a MANOVA with a post hoc discriminant analysis. Hope that was helpful to you.